Welcome back to my channel. This is Erica with Tiny Acorn. Today I have a what I wore outfit of the day vlog for you guys. I'm going to be sharing my outfits from the last week and also some vlog footage of my everyday life including a little update on where we're at as far as our RV traveling plan that we have. I shared that with you guys in a past video about why we moved to Bakersfield and that that was part of the reason we moved here is that we wanted to get an RV and go travel around and work remote and just have adventures. So I'm gonna be sharing an update on that at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Also, I want to thank Everlane for partnering with me for this video. They're one of my favorite sustainable brands, and today I'm going to be styling up some of their summer pieces for you guys throughout the week. I will link everything that I'm wearing down in the description box. You can check it out for yourself. So make sure to check them out if you need some new cute summer clothes that are going to be very versatile in your wardrobe. I can't wait to share with you guys. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also, I would love it if you would subscribe. Okay, let's go ahead and see everything that I wore this week. Hey guys, first outfit of the day I wanted to share with you. So this morning we are going on a family walk to our favorite bakery called Baker's Outpost. And it's one of the only places that we found here in Bakersfield that has good pastries and bread and everything. So we're gonna go there and get some of our favorite treats this morning. It's really nice to be able to go on a walk and go to these places because we used to do that a lot in San Francisco and basically like just living somewhere that's walkable to different places is very crucial for us because we don't like to drive everywhere and we love to walk if we can. So I wanted to share my outfit of the day with you guys. So I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but it was a thrift guide to Fresno and I went thrifting with my friend Josie to five different thrift scores, stores and we scored them and it was awesome and you guys should definitely check it out. But anyways, I'm basically ripping off her outfit from that thrift trip. <laughs> I loved her outfit so much. She had on white overalls and a white shirt with like a puff sleeve. And so I really wanted to recreate that outfit. And um, I actually have also been wanting to try these overalls from Everlane. These are their canvas overalls and uh, they have them in another color too. I love that little, that little E there, that's so cute. When I pulled these overalls out of the bag, I instantly knew they were gonna be amazing. Just the feel of them, they're so soft but sturdy. As soon as I put them on, I was like, yes, because I have been wanting white overalls for so long and I just feel like a good pair of white overalls is hard to find. But these guys are perfect. <laughs> so I got them in a size zero and I feel like that's like the perfect amount of looseness here around the hips. Um, I really like how they have the slide-in pocket here. Some of the reviews were like saying that the hips were too wide, so I was a little bit worried about that, but I do find that they fit perfectly with like the perfect amount of looseness. And also they come up like pretty good. Um, so here's what the back looks like, if you guys can see in the back pockets. Yeah, I just am in love. And also, I like how they have like a nice, just straight leg all the way down. And um, it's just a nice classic overall. But the best part of it is that it is so comfortable. I can't even like tell you guys, like I almost just wore them to bed last night because I already had them on and I was like snuggling in bed and I'm like, oh wait, I need to take these off and like put my PJs on. Anyways, I'll link these down below for you guys if you wanna try them. I also really wanna try them in like 
the other color that they have, which is more of that like classic, I think like Carhartt color, like that um, kind of like orangey um, ochre color. I paired them with this top that I thrifted and this scrunchie here <laughs> for just an extra zhuzh, I guess. Um, and then my Converse, since we're going for a walk, <clears throat> And then this little purse that I actually thrifted with Josie in my video that I was telling you guys about. So anyways, this is my little going for a walk to Baker's Outpost look. <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So we're at the park right now and part of like having a presence online requires me to post outfit photos and I just really want that to be something that is a sustainable part of my life that I can incorporate into my everyday life and not something that I have to go out and do photo shoots. I hate that. So yeah, we're here at the park and I was just like, Oh yeah, I probably should take a photo for my Instagram. And so, I Jason just took a photo of me in front of this, I don't know what this is, but I think he probably snapped 20 photos and I looked like a goober in probably 95% of the photos. And there's maybe one that I'll use. But anyways, um, I have to, to do this and make it sustainable for my life. And so taking a photo when we're out on an outing is the easiest way to do that. And um, <laughs> that way I don't have every single one of my photos on my Instagram as mirror selfies. If I had it my way, all the photos would be mirror selfies because they're just easier. That's just a little random blip into my life and just sharing all that uh, photo stuff. I don't even know if that's interesting to you guys, but I just figured I would share it with you. Anyways, I'm headed home now. So I'll probably just end up seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, back with another outfit of the day. Got my little buddy with me. He's wearing a super cute outfit. Gosh, gosh, but gosh, overalls in there, vintage, oh my gosh. I yeah. love these little overalls he's wearing. Actually, they were sent to me by one of you guys. Thank you. Okay, so for my outfit today, I'm wearing these Everlane Way High jeans. This is one of my favorite cuts of jeans that they make. I have them in every single color. <laughs> They're the most comfortable pair of pants. I love them so much. Um, and then this is actually an Everlane tank top. I am super impressed by it. I feel like it's hard to find cute tank tops. And this one is just perfect. It's like this off-white color. I love the little scallop detail around the neck here. And I like the fact that it is like a slight V-neck and it fits great. It just kind of has like a a vintage feel to it, I guess. I love it. I think it's a great uh, staple tank top. So anyways, I'm just wearing kind of a basic outfit, paired it with my way high jeans, and then these little thrifted fuzzy little slipper, slip-on shoes. I always get cold, especially with like grocery shopping and stuff like that. So I decided to wear Jason's coat because I saw it on the ground. So found Jason's little vintage French chore coat on the ground and I decided to throw it on. I just like the oversized fit of it and I just rolled the sleeves up once. Um, the funny thing is, is that this chore coat, actually Everlane came out with a, a limited edition of this ones that are like the same exact color. Let me show you their version. Okay, so this is Everlane's version. 
very pretty blue color. And then this is the original vintage version. So they're pretty similar. They have like all the same details on them. Like the pockets are all the same. Even the little secret pocket here on this side, there's a secret pocket here. And there's also one on the Everlane version. It's super cute. I love it. Uh, but I'm kind of just kind of in a slouchy, oversized mood. So I am going to wear my husband's instead. Um, I don't think they have these anymore. Otherwise, I would link it for you guys. Um, I will link if they do have chore coats right now. Um, I will link them for you guys down below. But anyways, okay, guys, going to run a bunch of errands with my almost 10 month old son and hopefully everything goes well. I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys. So today I am running to take Margo to a grooming appointment really quick and I'm just jutting out the door. I wanted to share my outfit with you guys. So I kind of do this a lot where I wear something to bed and it's really comfortable and then I just decided to wear it for the day, the next day. <laughs> so these are my uh, comfy PJ pants. I don't know. I thrifted these quite a while ago. You guys have seen them uh, quite a few times. I've had them for probably over a year now. They've gotten so much wear, but they're just so comfy. Um, and I loved the idea of pairing the striped bottoms with this striped tank top from Everlane. I'm very into this new tank top that they gave me. I love stripes and I just think that the high cut is really cute. It's also navy and white, just like the pants are. And so I thought, you know what, it was kind of a cute little outfit when it's paired together. And then I went with my Everlane Day Gloves. These are in a color that they don't make anymore, unfortunately, but um, Anyways, I got these in a size seven and a half. I'm normally a seven, but I like having a little bit of extra room in the toe. Um, and then I have this little bag that I thrifted and I have these glasses. These are from Look Optic, which they gifted me. And then I'm wearing Glossier Zip on my lips. And yeah, this is my final outfit of the day. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>
Okay, guys. Well, we gotta go. This guy's getting pretty tired. Okay, guys. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> See you guys later. Hey, guys. So I'm having one of those days where I want to feel pretty, but I want to do like basic bare minimum to accomplish that. <laughs> so let me show you guys what I'm wearing. Okay, so <laughs> wanna feel pretty. So I am throwing on this beautiful red Everlane dress. How cute is this thing? Oh my gosh. I think it's just so beautiful. I love the length of it right below the knee. I love the tear. I love that it has pockets. I also love the fact that it has this really cool feature with these this tie. So the ties start here and then they come around the back, as you guys can see here. So you have the option of tying it down there and just wearing it loose like this if you want, which I've done before and it's kind of nice. Um, or you have the option of bringing it around the front and tying it in the front to create more of a waist hugging shape. So that's how I'm wearing it today. Um, like I said, bare minimum effort to feel pretty, which usually means just throwing on a red lip. And this one is, let me show you. It's just my go-to. It's my NYX in the shade Morocco. It's a soft matte lip cream. I like it because it's a nice orange tone red but it's not overtly orange. So yeah, it like matches this dress perfectly. Um, I'm not doing my hair today. I'm just gonna do the little like flip flop throughout the day thing. Um, I actually really need to get my hair done again, but I feel like I've just been trying to kind of give it a break from curling and stuff like that. So this is what I'm working with. And then I'm wearing my clogs from Everlane. These are some of my favorite clogs. They're so comfy and very lightweight, and they also give you a little bit of a lift with the heel, so I really like that. So yeah, so this is my outfit of the day, and uh, I'll link this dress for you guys down below. I, they have it in a couple other colors. Hopefully it's not sold out. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys later. Bye. So we decided to come over to Grammy and Pappy's house to go swimming, because it's been, is it like 100 degrees today? 107. 107 today. So, <laughs> Bubs loves the water too. He loves it. Water Bubs. Water Bubs. Bubs. <laughs> so I'm wearing the Everlane swim line. This is the one piece. The Baywatch version, the red one. Um, but they also have like two pieces, high-waisted bottoms and like a tie top that I have, it's really cute. Um, this one has a built-in bra, which is nice. And I really like them. The low back is nice too. And I like just being able to cover my tummy if I don't wanna wear something that's like exposing my stomach. <laughs> I'll link it for you guys. <laughs> Look at that rumpus. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys back with another outfit of the day today so i am going to be doing laundry as you can see behind me laundry today cleaning i'm gonna take margo and monty for a walk today and i'm basically just gonna be around the house, responding to emails, getting some work done. And uh, so yeah, I have a pretty simple outfit today. Just wanna be comfy and cool because 
it is going to be hot today. So let me show you what I'm wearing. Ta-da! This is what I'm wearing, you guys. Like, super basic, right? But um, it's gonna get the job done today. And I think it's also very cute. I love doing like tone on tone, the same color with the pants and the same color with the top. So this is actually um, an Everlane top. It's, these are both, I think, in the color Rosewood. It's just like a really nice kind of brownish, rusty color. I don't know. What color is this, you guys? Comment down below. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is um, one of their little spaghetti strap tanks. Love it because it has a built-in bra. And now, as you guys know, now that I live in Bakersfield where it's like 100 plus degrees out, I've become a spaghetti strap person. <laughs> I never was before, but you know, when in Bakersfield, this top is really, really comfy. And also for nursing, I can just pull it down, nurse Monty throughout the day. It's perfect. Um, these shorts, I am loving you guys. So. They have the same cut as the um, wide leg crops, which is a pair of pants that Everlane makes that you guys know I love. I wear them all the time. Um, I have them in like every single color. <laughs> I adore those pants. So this is the short version of them. So it is, it fits the same around the waist and the butt pockets look the exact same. The pockets here look the exact same. It has the same high rise as the pants do. And I just think they're super comfortable. So I got these in a size zero and um, I feel like I could go up to a two. Um, if I wanted it to be a little bit more uh, loose here in the hips. However, I know that the two is a little bit baggier in the waist for me. So I like the waist to be like really snug. And so I wanted to get the smaller size so that the waist would fit. And so that means it's kind of a little tight in the butt area, but that's okay. Cause you know, it works. I don't think you can tell as long as I don't have camel toe, we're good. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go take Monty and Margo for a little walk today, going with the like super basic natural hair, um, no makeup except for my Dr. Jart, which isn't exactly makeup, but kind of makeup. I don't know. It's like a color corrective lotion for my face and it has SPF in it. So I just threw that on. So anyways, this is me. <laughs> very basic, very unfiltered. Um, when we get to the park, I'm going to give you guys a little update on what's going on with us with our like whole RV situation, which you guys probably have heard about in the past. Also, just real quick, finally hung up my hats, you guys. Yay! And hung up my purses. Woo! <laughs> That's because I have an intern now. Eva's amazing. She did this yesterday. I love her. I'll have to introduce you guys to her at some point, maybe um, when I release the nursery makeover video. Maybe I'll introduce you guys to her. But anyways, gotta go for a walk and throw the stuff in the laundry. I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day if you're watching this. Bye. So this is it. This is this is like the closest park to our house. It's not really even a park, it's just like a grassy patch and there's like power lines that run through it and stuff, but I usually take Margo here because it's the closest thing to our house and um, she likes to come out here and roll around and play with the ball and run off leash. And it's really nice actually coming out here, <laughs> but um, it's been really hot lately. And like, I think it's like 90 degrees already and it's only nine in the morning. So yeah, it's, it's pretty hot. I'm trying to come earlier in the mornings instead of like in the afternoons like I used to. I was just sitting here thinking, man, my life is so boring. Like, what do I do? I just go on walks all the time. <laughs> Not super exciting stuff. I don't know, I really like that. I like that. I like that my life is boring. I like that. 
I have, for the most part, a slower pace of life. That's like my goal, is to have like the slowest pace of life possible. <laughs> but I do enjoy going on adventures and stuff like that. Um, speaking of adventures, I know a while back I shared with you guys that the reason we moved to Bakersfield is because we wanted to get an RV and travel a lot. Just more recently, now that we've gotten settled into our house, and now that it's getting a lot hotter here, Jason and I have just been wanting to travel. And um, like last weekend, we just wanted to go to the coast for a couple days. And it's just so hard to find a hotel. We couldn't find a hotel practically anywhere. We, that was like under $300. And so anyways, I was just thinking, man, if we had our RV, it would be so much easier to go like do stuff like that. So we have started like really, really trying to find a recreational vehicle that we can use. And I feel like we've like whittled it down to like exactly what we want to get. And now we know what to look for. And so I feel excited about that. Right now we're just looking for a van with like a pop top compartment where you can like sleep upstairs. <laughs> once you pop the top and then there's also sleeping quarters downstairs so this might change but right now we're looking at like a sports master we found one in i think it's in monterey on craigslist i guess we're gonna pursue that and see what happens so it sleeps like four people and i don't know it looks really cool it's got like a kitchenette inside and even like a little compostable toilet doesn't i don't think it has a shower but that's fine with me so yeah, I'm excited that it feels like we're getting the ball rolling that like it actually might be a possibility that we will be able to travel this summer in our van. So I'm looking forward to that. You guys stay tuned and I'll make sure to share with you guys, obviously, if we get anything and like give you a tour of it and everything. Um, okay, well, nice chatting with you guys and catching up. Um, I'll see you guys next time. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my outfits of the day. Hope it gave you some inspiration. Also, don't forget that you can find these Everlane pieces in the description box. I'm gonna link it all for you guys. Guys, go check me out on Instagram if you haven't already at tiny underscore acorn. Also, I have a blog. I don't talk about it a lot, but it is uh, tinyacorn.co and I just did a new blog post on my favorite trends from 2021 and I show you guys how I'm wearing them and also some other awesome people that are wearing these trends and styling these trends as well. So I'll link that for you guys down below in the description box as well. <sighs> okay, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time and until then, remember that you are beautiful just the way you are. Bye!